Hi, I'm Margaret. I hope you've all had a good weekend. Here's a good old-fashioned British recipe for you. The original Battenberg has pink and yellow almond cake. Join together with apricot jam and wrapped in a beautiful marzipan. I've given it a bit of a twist and I've used orange and lemon flavoured cake. I hope you like it. Now for this recipe, you'll need two six inch square baking tins. It's best if they're a bit deeper than my tins, so I'm going to improvise today. After I've buttered and lined both of the tins, I've taken a long strip of silver foil and folded it once and then once again into a good long strip. Then it's going behind the baking paper to give the tin a little more height, giving the cake more room to rise. Do make sure for this recipe that the butter's really nice and soft. I like to whisk it with a hand whisk to make sure it's really light and fluffy. The eggs need to be mixed in one at a time. That way they mix in far better. Make sure each one's properly incorporated before adding the next. You may find that the mixture separates a little bit. If it does, no problem. Just pop in a spoon of flour and that should do the trick. Once you've added the vanilla extract, add the other ingredients, slowly and carefully, giving them a really good mix in between. It'll take a bit of time, but it's well worth it for the finished cake. I like to add a little bit of flour first, just to start it off and then add the rest after that, when it's properly mixed in. You do, however, need to make sure that you don't mix the flour in too much. Once it's incorporated, stop mixing, because this is going to get a lot of mixing when you add the colours and the flavourings later, and we don't want to overdo it. When you separate the mixture into two separate bowls, do weigh them because you make sure the mixture is completely even in weight. I'm using orange extract today and a little bit of orange food colouring to make the first cake. Add the colouring a little bit at a time and then you can judge what shade of orange that you'd like the cake to be. For the lemon flavour, the zest is best. I've soaked it in a bit of lemon juice but I don't want too much juice in here or the cake will be too wet. Just about a teaspoon will do. 
and it's important that you taste them because you do want your cake to have a lovely citrus flavour when it's cooked. Pop the batter into the tins and they're ready to go into the oven. With all those eggs, baking powder and self-raising flour, they do rise really well. I've left them in the tins for about 10 or 15 minutes before I've taken them out, but then they'll need to cool completely on the tray before you do anything else with them. So here we go. Have you got your ruler ready? We'll need to do a bit of measuring here because every cake needs to be exactly the same size. I'm an old fashioned girl so I'm using inches here. My cake is an inch and a half high so I'm making each slice an inch and a half wide. The edges need cutting straight too. In fact, we'll take, be taking all the caramelisation off these cakes. So all we've got in the middle of that marzipan is beautiful spongy cake. I must line them up to get just the right length. Then pop them on the sides to do the same thing there. Now for the marzipan. And the best thing to put on your board for marzipan is icing sugar. Make sure it's sieved so it's nice and fine. It needs to be a little wider than the length of the cakes, about seven or eight inches, and long enough to wrap all the way round the cakes. That's about 14 inches. This is where you find out if you've got your measuring right. Each time you put a piece of cake down, Make sure you glue the sides with your sticky jam. I tend to strain the jam to make sure there's no seeds in it and it's really nice and smooth. I'm using raspberry jam here because I think it complements the citrus flavour nicely. But you could use something like marmalade. A little bit on top and then we need to cut the sides to fit. The marzipan will need to just overlap slightly so that it sticks to the other piece and then with a fork just press lightly and drag to the side just to seal the edge. This is going to be the bottom of your cake. Trim the edges, feel for where the cake ends, and then just trim off a tiny little bit to make it nice and flat on the end. Well, there we go. You can get two small cakes out of this recipe, one to give away and one to keep for yourself. You can decorate it with the leftover marzipan, and it's beautiful with a lovely cup of tea. I do hope you've enjoyed the recipe today. Have a great week and I'll catch you very soon. <laughs>